Good day, YouTube, and may the fourth be with you right there. Okay, so this is just a bit of a comparison video between Ubuntu 20.04 on the left and Pop OS 20.04 on the right. So both their latest uh, releases, respective releases there. Now, so let's get into it here. Now, starting off, they do have some similarities, but obviously some differences there. Now we are working with the uh, the GNOME uh, desktop environment on both of them, but Ubuntu is copying its uh, long-standing long Unity-based GNOME desktop environment, which basically means they've got a look and feel that they've always had, and they've used the GNOME desktop environment now to get that look out of it. And on the Pop OS side, they've actually gone with a bit more of a slightly customized but more classic GNOME uh, look, so something that you might find out of Fedora or other uh, Linux distributions. So um, I'm not the biggest fan of this type, type of uh, desktop environment. It's a little bit harder to use in my own humble opinion there. This one on Ubuntu works a little bit more like Windows 7, Windows 10, that kind of thing there. But uh, that's about that there for now. So if we were to look in next to some of the uh, other information now, we are working with uh, basically they're about the same kernels. So 5.4 on both, so being that their one is based off the other, no surprises there. Uh, great for the latest hardware, that sort of thing. So it's good to see that Ubuntu and Pop! OS do uh, the, the later and greater kernels there basically. Uh, we've had a look at the GNOME desktop environment, so that's all good. Uh, the window manager, now really the uh, Nautilus file. So if I was to load up the, the, the file or window manager here, we can see some other consistencies there as well, except with a the dark theme. In fact, let's uh, go a little bit further and have uh, a change of settings just to see how close these are. So if I was to go to appearance and make this all dark, just to copy, and see how similar we are working with, with, the, with these two operating systems. And if I was to go to about and about, I'll see probably, if not the exact same basic information there, and that's right. So it's the GNOME files file manager, a fully functioning file manager, it does everything you would want it to do in a file manager these days. Uh, it's got your right click options, that kind of thing. That's all good and fine. A little bit of an obviously uh, different uh, colored theme there. I do like the black and uh, the blue, as opposed to the gray and the lighter gray but um, you know what can you do it's the same sort of uh, setup here so that's good to see let's go to have a look at some of the uh, the the hardware usage here as well so I'm going to now nothing is really loaded up on either of these machines except for file manager of which I'm more than happy to get rid of but uh, let's have a look at uh, what we're dealing with here so uh, both, yep, idling out on the CPU, that's good to see. Uh, this is uh, virtual machines, both having 2 gig of RAM. Uh, Ubuntu on the left using 737 mega RAM, and uh, Pop! OS on the right using 1.3 gig RAM. So that's that's quite heavy, actually. Uh, it's quite resource heavy straight off the bat without anything else really loaded. So not the biggest fan of that, to be honest, but uh, it is what it is. So uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And uh, that, I think, is mostly video, just uh, just keeping these things quite uh, cool on a holiday Monday morning, so just a little bit of simp simplicity here. But that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe, uh, all of those nice things, and yeah, thanks again for watching. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.